हाई एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग वन एंड ऑल या सो टूडे लेक्चर इन दुडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मल्टी लिंगल इश्यूज एंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू समांटिक पार्सिंग ओके सो लेट मी स्टार्ट मल्टी लिंगल इश्यूज सो ही आर मल्टी लिंगल इश्यूज सो द नैचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग सो द नैचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग मीन्स द ह्यूमन स्पीकिंग लैंग्वेज दट इज़ अ रीजनल लैंग्वेज सो ईच एंड एवरी लैंग्वेज सपोज वी कैन कंसिडर एज अ इंग्लिश आर तेलुगु आर मराठी आर हिंदी एनी लैंग्वेज वी विल फेस सम स्मॉल इश्यूज सो हियर ड्यूरिंग दैट implementation of uh, nlp mission or uh, training the nlp mission so we will face uh, some multilingual issues okay so now consider what are the multilingual issues here we have so first one is uh, tokenization along with uh, tokenization we are facing another issue called uh, case sensitive and encoding then second one is word segmentation and uh, morphism third one is morphism so these are the multilingual issues multi language issues we will face in the natural language processing okay so tokenization so tokenization is coming from the starting of the natural language processing itself so we know that tokenization is nothing but a a process of uh, breaking down in a piece of text into individual units these are called as a tokens so uh, if you consider a small uh, word or sentence hey hello like this so these things we will consider we will uh, break down into small individual units so this is called this process is nothing but a tokenization so and these are called as a tokens so these already we know so many times we discussed also okay so here especially in the during the tokenization uh, uh, normally these tokens uh, cor uh, typically corresponds to the words or punctuation marks so and it can be extracted it can be extracted using the simple rules based on the spaces white spaces and punctuations so here see they given a simple example so the first example is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so in this sentence we did not find any punctuations so we found only the white spaces so by considering the white space we will break down the given sentence into the number of words small units so that is called as a tokens so same procedure if you apply with the, suppose the given sentence is having a punctuations like that or how we will uh, breaking down that thing into a small units means so consider this example look in the mirror that's you are competition so here in this sentence there is a punctuation mark right so that's that's means see that is one unit and s is one unit suppose in between that's if you find like apostrophe s so here also we will consider this is also a one unit so based on these tokenization will be done by considering the white spaces and punctuations so this is a tokenization issue then case sensitive case sensitive means so how nlp mission will uh, understand the given input text means sometimes sometimes uh, we need to convert all the given input text into the lower cases so then only the nlp mission will understand but here case refers to the capitalization of a words in the piece of text so suppose there is a new york city here see this one there is a new york city 
New York City in the United States. So in the New York City, N and Y is the capital letters. So if it belongs to the named entity recognition that N E R, then no problem for N L P mission. It will understand. Suppose you write any uh, any input sentence like this, new R, like this means the system will understand difficulty. So that time when this uh, capitalization is there in your given input sentence, we need to convert all the letters into the lower cases. Okay, so then only. Uh, this uh, what it is called case sensitive issue will be solved okay so next issue is encoding so here encoding so encoding see this one encoding refers the process of converting text into a numerical representation that can be processed by a machine learning algorithm so whatever the input text we have that we need to convert into the numerical representation so then only the machine learning algorithms will be understood what is this so this machine learning algorithms are common encoding scheme it is not at all what it is called it is a common encoding team so here we uh, choose one simple example let me explain with example then you will understand very clearly so during the encoding procedure each token is represented in as a binary vector so with the one or zero so with the one in the position of corresponding to the tokens index and fixed the uh, vocabulary and zero if the corresponding token is not there in the index like a rows and columns you can fix it as a zero okay so let me take a simple example for your understanding of uh, encoding procedure so this is an example the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so this can be encoded as a matrix of nine cross nine so nine by nine nine by nine means nine columns and nine rows so by using this matrix method we can convert we can do process of converting the input text into a binary values so how we will convert like this so first we need to write the quick brown fox into the column wise then you need uh, row wise sorry row wise then you need to write into the column wise so see here the quick brown fox yeah the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so now here you will understand very clearly the is one and corresponding index corresponding here also quick here also quick this is one and brown is one and fox is one jumps is one all the corresponding indexing tokens must be fixed with one and here you can see the first row and second column the quick so this index is not same so then you can keep as a zero so hope you will understand how we will convert the given input text uh, into a binary value how we will do process of encoding the given input text into first you can write into the row wise then you can write into the column wise then the corresponding indexes the corresponding indexes you can make it as a one and the remaining all you can make it as a zero so this is the encoding procedure then coming to the word segmentation next topic is word segmentation next multilingual issue is word segmentation so this is nothing but a identifying the individual words in a piece of text 
especially the languages uh, don't have uh, white spaces and don't have uh, punctuation marks like this so that means the language any natural language which is not a rich language that kind of languages it is uh, word segmentation is a process of identifying the individual words so here consider the following ch sentence in the china language so the china language why we are choosing means in the chinese language the alphabets are very less and they can use uh, one word or one letter for the multiple meanings same like that in the Japanese language also they will use and the Thai language also they will use. So which language doesn't have the more alphabets we need to perform the we need to process the word segmentation. So see here this is the China language of course I also don't know I am taking an example of here the China language. Okay so I love Beijing what is this? I love Beijing, Tiananmen, some place. Okay. So, see here, I, one word. And love, see here in the English, this is a word. But in the China language, only one word it is having. So, this process of identifying the individual words in the piece of text. This is nothing but a word segmentation. Okay. So, how this uh, word segmentation can be do means uh, we can perform using by combine combination of statistical and rule based methods by using these two techniques uh, combination of sta combination of statistical and rule based method we can perform the word segmentations in the languages such as a Japanese language, Thai language okay and uh, chinese language so why because mm, they written without white spaces so word segmentation uh, segmentation can be even more challenging because in the given input sentence we cannot find the white spaces or punctuation marks so it is difficult to perform the tokenization okay so this is also a kind of a issue language issue then the third one is morphology so morphology morphology means we know that morphology is nothing but a, a study of a structure of words and the rules that given uh, that govern the formation of the words okay so from similar units right this is known as a morphemes morpheme is nothing but a a unit a small unit which is having a meaningful which is having a meaningful thing in the language okay so here consider a simple example how the morphology can be a issue suppose unhappily this word consists of three morphemes right so unhappily there is a three morphemes in one word so un is a prefix that means not and uh, happy is a base word that is a root word and uh, li is a suffix that means particular way so each of these morphemes has a specific meaning un means not happy means it's a root word and li means it is a specific meaning right so the combination of these three morphemes we are making as a word that is unhappily. It changes the meaning and also grammar, grammatical function on the root node, right? So unhappily means it's not satisfying, right? Happily means it's satisfying. So by combining the different morphemes, the meaning also will change and the grammar also will change so it is very very important in the natural language processing because it can help to identify the meaning and grammatical function of the individual words okay and also provides insights to the structure or structure of a particular word and a pattern of a particular language 
सो दिस इज ऑल्सो ए काइंड ऑफ मल्टी लिंगल इश्यू ओके सो दीज आर ऑल अबाउट द दीज आर ऑल अबाउट द मल्टी लिंगल इश्यूज सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेमैनेटिक पार्सिंग वॉट इज नथिंग बट ए सेमैनेटिक पार्सिंग एंड वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग ओके सो लेट मी डिस्कस दिस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू गाइज होप एवरी वन अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन